Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. And in the previous video, we learned how to set up WordPress with Docker. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you how you can access the PHP My Admin. Okay. So if you go to the repository, which is your next year's headless WordPress, I have added some of the details into the wiki. Okay. So if you go to the setup commands there are some setup commands over here and it talks about where you can access your uh, php my admin so there are two ways to know it either you come to the wiki of this repository and know where you can access it or if you remember when we were discussing about the docker compose file we discussed that we have exposed this port which is port 3 we have exposed this port which is 8183 um, to access our PHP My Admin. So let's go ahead and open it. There you go, congratulations, you've got your PHP My Admin running, which is amazing. And now, what we can do is you can add the port number. So where is this coming from? Again, uh, it's coming from here which is the host and the port number which is mysql and 3306 let's add that and it's asking for username and password so username and password would be let's see so username is root and the password is also root okay you're locked in awesome awesome so this is your wordpress you can see you've got all of the data and you can play around with it Another way uh, to access your database will be the MySQL, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll open up a new one. And now I'm going to go back to the wiki and we have the Docker commands here. So you click on the Docker commands, which is this one. And then uh, there are some Docker commands you can check out. Like if you want to stop all of the containers, you can use this command. Uh, if you want to remove the containers, um, you know, you can do all of that. So you can, there's quite an extensive information available here. But what we're interested in is how to get to our container by logging into the shell, right? So there's a command available called docker uh, exec. So we're going to use that. So let's go over here. I'll say docker exec and then dash i. I is for interactive mode and T is for TTY. Okay. And then you need the container name. Now, of course, if I need the container name, I'm going to have to run this command, which is Docker container LS. And now you can see that these are all of our containers that are available, right? Let me increase it actually. Yeah, here we go. So now you can see you've got container ID. This is WordPress latest, which is which is this one, uh, this container, WordPress latest. This is the name of the image, right? That's the image name. You can see it says image. And then you also have the status. It, it is up and running uh, 17 min from 17 minutes. It has the port number and that's where our WordPress is available. If you remember, localhost 8020. And then the name of this container is actually backend WordPress one. Okay, and that's what we're interested in. So I'll come back to that, but I just want to show you the other containers also. The second one is PHP my admin, uh, which is what we created in the Docker compose file, right? This one. And then the image name is PHP my admin and it's constantly running. Now there's MySQL and this is what we're interested in. But before we jump onto that, just want to let you know that if you're wondering what happened to our composer, uh, composer container right why why can't I see that well you can see it the, the docker container ls command is only going to show you the all the running container if you want to see them all you can so you can get all of the list of the container by using docker container lsa the first this command is actually deprecated so I'd rather use this if you check it there you go so now you can see you've got all of the containers you can see these ones the wordpress the php my admin and the mysql are running since last 20 minutes and that's what you see on top as well but this one exited 18 minutes ago now why did it get exited well, the reason for this is that is just done its job right all of the package and there's no need to run it 
again, right? Awesome. So coming back, we're interested in the container name of the MySQL, and this is what it is, which is the backend MySQL. So again, we'll go back to another tab, and over here we'll say docker exec it, and then backend underscore MySQL underscore one, and after that, so that's the container name or ID, and then we'll do bash. Let's hit it. Okay. Now, if you check where is it that the MySQL is available, just want to show that to you. So again, our best source to look at is here, is Docker Compose file. Um, so let's take a look. MySQL, so it's inside of var, lib, and MySQL. So let's go inside of that. I'm going to do ls first, and we do have var, so I'm going to go to var, and then lib, which is lib, and then finally MySQL, right? So if you check, there's there's our MySQL, correct? So if you run MySQL u hyphen u root hyphen p root, there you go, you're straight away into the MySQL, right? So now you can see the databases, so show databases. And of course you have to put the semicolon and there you go you can see you've got wordpress database and then you can just basically uh you know run all of the mysql command and okay now i'm going to just write exit and hit enter and i'm exited from the mysql and i can exit from the uh, and i can exit from the mysql container also by typing exit and then semicolon and hit it all right awesome now, so we've seen the MySQL uh, container, and now we're going to look at the WordPress container as well. So, so now I would like you to guess how to do that. Well, you've guessed it right. We have done the Docker LS, Docker container LS, which is going to give us the name of the container, and this is the name of the WordPress container. And all I have to do is run the same command again into another tab. And I can do this one, docker exec it and the name of the container and then space bash. So I'm going to replace the container name and hit it. There you go. Congratulations. You are now inside of the WordPress container. Okay. So if you do ls, there you go. You can, you can see that you've got all of the WordPress related files, you've got Compose, JSON, HT Access, Activate, all of that. And the same files are actually being shared from your host, which is your local as well. All right, so, which is great. So now you know where, where it exists and you can always check it out if you want. All right. Perfect. Okay, so let's exit it. Exit. Now, uh, if you notice in the HT Access file, it currently is empty. So if you go to HT access, it's currently empty. So all you have to do now is just go to WordPress and then go to permalinks in settings and then select the post name because you want the slug shape of the URL and hit save. And there you go, it's already added now. Okay, which is great, perfect. And just to let you know that if you want to access your GraphQL data uh, from WordPress, you can do whatever your root URL, in this case, is 8020, and then slash GraphQL. So now you can see that a GraphQL request must include at least two of the parameters, uh, which is fine. Uh, right now we have, haven't made any query, but just to let you know that it's available on this URL. And in the back end, if you want to take a look at where you can actually access the uh, GraphQL data, so you can click on GraphQL IDE, okay, and over here, you can actually get all of the data that you want. So let's say I want the post here. Yeah? So I'll click on the posts, and I'll click on edges, node, and I want the title. So just select whichever, whatever you want. So unlike REST API where you have, you get all the data, uh, including the ones that you didn't ask for, here you can, ch you can do cherry pick here. Yeah? So I want the title, I want the URI, and let's say I want the post ID. Okay, so let's take a look. There you go, congratulations. You've got the hello world post. Of course, I only have one post right now. That's why it's only showing one. Otherwise, it would have shown more posts. Yep, awesome, great. So your WordPress setup is complete. Uh, a couple more things you need to do basically is just to come in over here and add some of the git ignore files. So come inside of the root 
and take this git ignore file I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go on to my root of the directory and do git ignore git ignore okay and then also inside of the backend I'm going to go to WordPress directory and take a git ignore from here. Okay, so go to backend directory, WordPress, create a git ignore dot git ignore, hit it, paste it, there you go. This means that ignore everything except the composer, anything that starts with composer, so our composer JSON and composer lock, anything that starts with HT access, and anything that starts with git ignore. Okay, except these, ignore everything else in the WordPress directory because this is your own WordPress setup. So I don't want to mess with that. The only thing that we're interested in is that what plugins you have and it's going to automatically, uh, you know, install that for you. And you have your own MySQL setup as well over here. So we don't want to mess with any of that data. You can see our backend is so clean. I mean, all it literally has just that Composer YAML file and this Composer JSON uh, and compose a log file, which is so clean. Yeah, you can have your own setup. You can all have your own databases, etc. Just a couple more things. If you so, if you want to stop running those containers, okay, what you can do is you can do Control C, I believe. Yeah, and you can see that it stopped, and you can check Docker container ls. Now you can see there's not there's nothing running, and if you want to bring that up again. All you have to do is run the same command which we did earlier, which is docker, compose, and then dash f, backend, slash, docker, compose YAML file, and then up, and then dash t. So this time we're going to run into the detached mode, which means we can continue to use uh, the terminal and the docker containers are going to be running in the background. Okay, and just to let you know, they need to be running in order for you to use your WordPress application with Docker. All right, so you can see it's starting the MySQL uh, container, then the Composer is doing that. Okay, and then it's going to do the WordPress as well, and then finally the PHP My Admin, and it's in the detached mode, so you can continue using your terminal. It's running in the background. All right, brilliant. So I hope that was some great and fun learning with you. I'm pretty excited with this project because there are a lot of learnings that you're going to have. We're going to use all of the best tools and best of the stacks in this project and you're absolutely going to love it. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And to support my work, please do star my repository and follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.